there you are. So this video that I'm just doing now is, is like I say, what I'm trying to do is get a few more uploads going. I'm trying to minimize my time editing, just chop them up, chop them together, get them done done and dusted out the door to you guys. This video now is me trying to explain how a three port works quickly, within sort of five minutes, maybe 10. Uh, as you can see, oh, I'm, uh, I'm letting it all slide while I'm stuck at home. So, it's what it is. Okay, so what do we have on a three port? We have five wires. Start with the things you know. Now from the S-Plan videos, we know Earth is Earth. We don't need to worry about that. We know neutral is neutral. We don't need to worry about that. And we know orange is the switch live to the boiler. We have two things different here. We have a gray. These have a gray as well, but this gray is completely different. And we have a white. Now the white on a three port is heating on. The brown that was central heating on that motored over the two port is now the white of a three port. So that's easy, there's nothing different. The orange is the orange. I'll put that in over here. On a two port, the gray wire is permanent live. On a three port, the gray wire is hot water off. Okay, I'm gonna go through and explain how this valve works now. So what happens is when you, we're gonna start with the, the valve rests in hot water only. So when you have no power to this valve, it's turned off on the spur, this valve will be in hot water only mode. If you create a hot water demand, what happens is you get your power in like on a S-Plan system, goes into the programmer, comes out of the programmer to the cylinder stat, and if the cylinder stat says I want to be heated, basically the on from the cylinder stat goes in with the orange. So on the two port system, it went into the brown to make this valve motor over. On a Y-Plan, it goes to the orange effectively, on hot water only, the valve isn't involved in this whole daisy chain process to the heat exchanger. The valve doesn't do anything. Providing the valve is at rest, the valve doesn't do anything. It, the power comes into the programmer, into the cylinder stat. From the cylinder stat, this blue wire here actually is gonna go in with the orange system. So that was hot water only. Now we're gonna go on to heating and water. What happens is the power comes, you, you have both, both of these wires have power. Okay, goes into both cylinder stats. Now this is when there's a demand, okay? Heating and water are both demanding. Cylinder stat and room stat want heat. The power then comes from the cylinder stat and the room stat. From the room thermostat, it comes in here, let's move this, to the white wire. And all this white wire will do in a three port is move the valve to mid position. At mid position, the waterways open to both ports, both heating and water. Okay, that's all that does. And then the cylinder stat is saying, I wanna be heated. And what, where does it send that power? Out down this wire here and it goes into the orange. So it runs the boiler. Again, all the, on a heat, heating and water demand, all the three port does when everything's calling for heat is go to mid position. It doesn't do any demanding, doesn't send power anywhere, it just moves to mid position, that's it. So we're gonna create a heat and only demand. Let's put a heating only on. And if you should look in there, you should see that valve is moving. And there you go, that valve is now in mid position. But nothing's happened, nothing's fired. So remember when it's a three port valve and it's in mid position, the switch life, the thing that makes the boiler and pump run is actually meant to come from the cylinder stat. Because that valve should only be in mid position when it has both demands. So if I flick this now, we'll find that we get our demand. Let's have a, just a Brief look, yeah. So as soon as I turn this on, we'll get demand. Turn it off, we lose demand. So the fault situation you get here is, people will say, my heating only works for 10 minutes or, or let's say for half an hour a day because your heating will only work when the hot water's being heated. All right, so you can see how in this situation here, you could never have heating only. It wouldn't work. The wire. So my point there was, you have nothing on a heating only demand on the three port. You have nothing telling the boiler to work unless you have your gray wire wired in. Now what the gray wire is, 
is hot water off. Hot water off gives power to the grey to move the valve to that last, that final position of heating only, okay? And that's also what then gives the, uh, the orange wire power. The orange wire on a three port only actually sends power to the boiler and the pump when it's in a heating only demand. When it's hot water and heating or hot water only, the power comes through the daisy chain, through the cylinder stat, straight to the orange wire. Anomaly with three port systems. We're gonna turn it off now. I want you to pay close attention to the valve. So I'm gonna turn this off now, watch the valve. Did you notice what the valve did? Nothing, it stayed in heating mode. Once one of these valves motors over to heating only, it gets latched there and it stays there. And that's when you get that back feed voltage that will make like Worcester RIs, Glower Microns, Ideal Logics, it will make them boilers run when it shouldn't. It will also do it to Supremas occasionally. Okay, so here we are. We're now gonna measure the back feed voltage created by this valve being in heating only. So, here we go. So as you can see, with everything off, the valve is sending 107 volts down the orange. Oh, there you are. So what I'm trying to do here is squash it right down, make it easier to understand, make it something that you can quickly watch in the van before you nip into a job. So I hope you like that video. I'll catch you on the next one. Like and subscribe.